Astronomers expected to find indications of life in the atmospheres of distant planets and galaxies, but they had no idea that the JWST's initial photographs would revolutionise the way we see the cosmos. The mysterious light in one of the photographs spotted by the extremely powerful telescope could be the proof we need to establish that there is life on other planets out there. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has detected the first conclusive evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside the solar system. This observation of a gas giant planet 700 light years away around a sun-like star provides crucial information on the planet's composition and development. Webb may be able to identify and study carbon dioxide in the thinner atmospheres of smaller rocky planets in the future, according to the discovery. However, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has vowed that humanity will soon have a completely unique picture of the cosmos unlike anything we've ever seen before. Today we'll look at the data provided by the James Webb Space Telescope and discuss what it means. Is the strange light a sign of life or future life on a planet millions of kilometres distant orbiting a completely other star? Is it the super-Earth we're all waiting for and what more is out there? One of the primary goals of the James Webb Space Telescope is to identify habitable exoplanets where we might one day find evidence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. However, discovering another Earth-like planet may be more difficult than you expect. Around 40 light years away lies a remarkable star system. The TRAPPIST-1 system sprang to prominence five years ago when NASA and its collaborators announced the discovery of several Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone of a single star. Since then, scientists have been working feverishly to learn everything they can about these nearby worlds that may be similar to Earth. James Webb is equipped with two infrared cameras. The first is a near-infrared camera, commonly known as NearCam, which records shorter infrared wavelengths. The second instrument is the mid-infrared camera, or MIRICAM, which records longer infrared wavelengths. The photographs differ depending on the camera used to take them. So far, NASA has presented us with a plethora of photographs obtained by this massive one-of-a-kind telescope, and these images are, to put it bluntly, breathtaking. Stars generating magnificent blue and orange light, galaxies swirling and crawling around one another in a tangle of stars and dust clouds, and some of the universe's oldest light emitted 13 billion years ago. All of this and more was revealed by NASA in a news release issued on July 12. But if the initial photographs have shown so much, what will the upcoming data from the James Webb reveal? And is it all good news? So far, the information gathered appears to be harmless, but you never know when things will change. After all, NASA is expecting that this telescope will be able to view light from the furthest reaches of the universe, which might be as dangerous as it is exciting. The most exciting aspect of the JWST data isn't even a photo. It's spectrographic data from the planet WASP-96b. This is an exoplanet located approximately 1,150 light years away from us. Exoplanets are planets that exist outside of our solar system. Aside from NearCam and MIRICAM, James Webb has a near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, or NIRIS, which assesses the intensity of different light wavelengths. The NIRIS placed on JWST measured the light from a WASP-96b for around six and a half hours and plotted the data acquired on a graph, and this data suggests that there may be water on this planet. This mainly gaseous planet is about half the size of Jupiter and orbits its stars so closely that a year on this planet is equivalent to only 3.4 days on Earth. This short orbital period is critical because it allows scientists to analyse how molecules on this planet absorb and then re-emit light from its host star. Scientists were able to determine the type and quantity of elements found in the atmosphere of this planet by breaking down the spectrum of light into its constituent wavelengths. The graphical representation of this data assists scientists in concluding that water exists on WASP-96b. In fact, this planet's atmosphere contains a significant amount of water vapour. Despite the hope this image has given us, the temperature on WASP-96b is around 530 degrees Celsius, making it extremely hot to support any type of life. However, in the next months, this telescope will be pointed at a different planet and photographs will be taken of it. This one is thought to be possibly livable, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. 
Scientists hope they can use spectrum images of many other planets, even those outside of our solar system and galaxy, to advance their hunt for indications of life in the distant reaches of the cosmos. Another important target for the James Webb Satellite Telescope is a cluster of five tightly connected galaxies around 290 million light-years away. This particular collection of galaxies is known as Stevens Quintet and it can be found in the Pegasus constellation. According to NASA data, four of these extremely close galaxies are constantly rushing past one another at dangerously close distances, putting them in danger of colliding. The extraordinarily high quality photograph reveals that two galaxies in the quintet are merging into one another. The image of the leftmost galaxy has a higher resolution since it is closer to our solar system than the others, approximately 40 million light years away. Scientists hope that data from the galaxy clusters like this one can help them understand how gravity acts at the biggest scales. This can also help them learn more about dark matter, the mysterious invisible yet vast entity that is said to keep the universe together. Another NASA image represents the most spectacular cosmic boom you will ever witness. This dazzling and glassy hot bit of star formation is located roughly 7,600 light years from Earth in the southern constellation Carina. The boundary of a nascent star-forming region in the Carina Nebula is depicted as a landscape of mountains and valleys dotted with dazzling stars. Astronomers believe this is one of the most active star formation zones ever observed. It is home to several stars that are far larger than the Sun. Scientists have previously studied the Carina Nebula in depth, but this new photograph appears to display the cosmic cliffs in unfathomable detail. The incredible strength of the James Webb Satellite Telescope is allowing us to see hundreds of young stars that were previously invisible to older telescopes. NASA officials have indicated that the image is sufficiently sharp that they can now see jets and dust eddies moving through it. They have generated enigmatic structures that scientists have yet to name. Scientists hope to learn everything they can about star formation by studying this photograph of the Carina Nebula. They believe it may even allow them to investigate the beginnings of our solar system. The next image revealed by this magnificent telescope depicts the Southern Ring Nebula. The eight-burst nebula is named for the figure-eight-shaped cloud of dust and gas that is ejected from this enormous dying star. It's about 2,500 light-years away from Earth. An intriguing orange froth of molecular hydrogen can be seen whirling around a bluish haze of ionized gas all of which is being ejected by the fading star visible in the middle of this image. The same nebula's mid-infrared image shows a second red star sparkling next to the dazzling blue one. The Southern Ring Nebula has long been known to be a binary system, but this is the first time the second star has been so plainly visible among the heavy cloud of dust. However, like with all of the JWST photos, several clearly visible galaxies appear to be photobombing the backdrop of this image. This points to all of the previously unknown truths that we may eventually discover. When scientists examined this image more closely, they noticed a small and thin line visible in the upper left corner. NASA astronomer Carl Gordon predicted that it was just a part of the nebula, but after carefully inspecting it with both infrared cameras, they realized it was the side view of a galaxy. So the mysterious, inexplicable light spotted by the JWST was actually a complete galaxy that we may have missed. There's a potential that the dust particles thrown into space by the dying star will condense and create the seeds of future stars and planets. Further study of this nebula could aid astronomers in understanding the processes of star death and rebirth. However, is it possible for the JWST to find extraterrestrials by looking at their city lights? Scientists have been confused by this question for years. As far as we can tell, the cosmos should be filled with many species. Moreover, many of these aliens should be technologically adept enough for us to communicate with them or at least pick up their radio transmissions. We have not yet seen or heard anything, and the sky appears to be without life. Recent research, however, discovered something. Maybe we are looking in the wrong place. Instead of listening to extraterrestrial radio transmissions, we should attempt to see their city lights. However, from light years away, how can humans see these faint lights? Is this quest even worthwhile? Now that the James Webb Space Telescope is operational, we have access to entirely new technologies for astronomical observation. This telescope is sufficiently powerful that it can actually view and image exoplanets 
as opposed to merely inferring their existence like virtually every other telescope before it. Long before the JWST was operational, Avi Loeb determined how the telescope could utilise this capability to observe extraterrestrial cities. He based his calculations on Proxima b, the closest exoplanet similar to Earth. We can observe both the day and night sides of the exoplanet by observing it at different orbital positions. We may then compare the actual brightness to our predictions, and if there is a variation, we can attribute it to an extraterrestrial civilization's artificial light. The James Webb Space Telescope will also explore the TRAPPIST-1 system during its initial cycle of research projects. The goal of the research is to determine if the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system have atmospheres and in the long run to establish a method for searching for biosignatures that might indicate the presence of life on any of the planets. When it comes to understanding planets that are not our own, there are a number of challenges. Recent theoretical work shows that the distance of a planet from its star and its composition are not the only elements influencing its environment. The distribution of land on a planet's surface has a significant impact on its potential habitability. In its first year of research, James Webb will begin exploring the TRAPPIST-1 system and it will be thrilling to learn more about these exoplanets. It will be tough to find a habitable planet billions of light years away, so don't start planning your move to Earth 2 just yet. Let us know what you think about the chances of JWST locating a habitable exoplanet in the next months.